Holy smokes. It's like three degrees. Man. I don't like more than a degree. Same here, three degrees. Wow. Two degrees. Checking the base section. Wow, one and a half degrees on the base bridge. Two degrees, holy smokes. I got a Model E here that I'm gonna be uh, checking the soundboard. Uh, this thing is uh, 98 years old. And just doing a visual inspection. It's got some cracks. Uh, they're not the uh, they're not big cracks as far as there's no gaps or anything like that that I see. They're hairline cracks. And there's a couple over there. And it's like a base bridge kind of split right there there's another look at that crack usually one thing I check on cracks is I oh, look at here. you can hear that did you hear that so the soundboards come off the rim on either side of the crack It's got a good crown. I'm getting ready to do the cladney test. This time I'm gonna put uh, more sand on here so it's visible. I don't know what the frequency of it is yet. So we'll find that out together. All right, here we go. guys I learned something new with the Cladney test on this board I was fortunate to just the other day do a Steinway it was a hundred years old and this one's about the same age but when I did the Steinway it was like the whole board came to life and the sand was moving quickly and that was really really fast and then the sand if you look back at that video, is going really close to the edges, uh, a lot more so than this one. On this one, 
the sand I had it at the right resonate frequency which was 55 Hertz in this case it was just going slow it was like and then here's the finished uh, pattern of mode one and you can see the effects of the cracks uh, the cracks uh, prevents uniformity uh, it doesn't vibrate the same it doesn't come out to a clean pattern and the uh, uh, whole board I just get the impression on this thing from that uh, watching it that this one just wasn't uh, the whole thing wasn't vibrating it was just a uh, you can see it's like the board's smaller because it's um, lost its compression so uh, that's really interesting so it's like uh, you really can't go by the frequency as much it's uh how fast everything's moving seems to be uh, a more of an indicator so i've been doing a few of these and it seems like each time i learn something from them and so this one i i never considered before the speed of the sand so that uh steinway last time was really impressive how fast the sand will travel across the board and try to go to the edges quickly here it was like a snail so all right that was really interesting